All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? It's that time. It's a new season. We got to try Mono Green, right? We know some version of it's going to be playable. It seems to be playable every season. We always find a way to do it, even multiple ways last season. But this time, we got a couple of tools that people seem to be excited about that we wanted to squeeze in here. So let's get to the list. We've got some Bushwhack. Rarely, we might sometimes use this to search for a land, but generally we're going to be using this as a removal spell, but it does give us that versatility. Evolving Adapted, not a surprise. We have a lot of big things, so this should be getting to 4-4 and 5-5 five, five size pretty regularly. Flourishing Bloomkin, also rarely used face down to find land, but occasionally we can if we need to. Sharp-Eyed Rookie is a way for us to get cards and just grows every turn. Arshura's Charm, this has been the MVP when we've played these types of decks last season, so hopefully it's still good now. Then we have Bloated Contaminator because, well, we can just pump up all of our stuff, which is good. But it's also a 4-4 body for 3, as this is a 4-5 body for 3, also very good. And we get a 5-5 body for 4 in the new Bristlebud Farmer. This thing has Trample. It comes into play and makes 2 food, so it's good against the Mono Red or those Hyper Aggro decks. And then when you attack, you also get the option of sacrificing a food. If you do, you get to mill 3 cards and put one of those cards, a permanent card, into your hand. And since we have almost all permanents... That's going to be a land or a creature in most cases. You get to put it in your hand and keep rocking and rolling. We're also playing Nissa because, well, Nissa's really good if we have mostly forest and green cards. So, of course, we're going to do that. And Gold Vein Hydra. This is one that you can play early just to set up your mana, especially if we're trying to get to a Nissa particularly. But other times, you just top deck it later. You attack with a big 6-6 with Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. If it dies, you get some extra treasure for your trouble. Nothing too surprising there. And we're going to play two copies of Tyvar Stand just as a couple of defensive cards, even though we're kind of being hyper-aggressive mono green here. But yeah, as always, if you want to download this, you know how it goes. You go down below, we'll have a link. It takes you to Moxfield. You can put it right into Arena, try it out. For now, though, let's go see if these new cards change anything in the way mono green plays. Okay, this hand is intriguing. Boop, 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 boop. Let's keep it. What are my thoughts on Terror of the Peak? It's just a good card. Like, there's no thoughts. It's just like, the card's good. Play it. <laughs> like, that's it. That's my thoughts on Terror of the Peaks. It's a good card. Feel free to play it. I mean, we see so many things get reprinted. I, I mean, not really surprised to see any of those cards come back in standard. I mean, we got Lightning Helix, you know? Like, Lightning Helix is a card a bunch of people would think wouldn't be in standard. So if we can get Lightning Helix, like, getting Terror of the Peaks isn't crazy. And it's actually a good reprint. Like, it needed it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna block this guy. We're playing Mirror Box over there? Okay. That's not cool. Oh my gosh, we missed a land. Oh my gosh. Man, getting to play Pull of Kranos would have been huge there. Yeah, it's just another Tiny Bones. All right. Honest Redstein to recuperate another Tiny Bones. Of course. Why not? All right. Well, hmm. Kind of want to just do this for two, but then it doesn't... Uh, yeah, we got to do this, sadly. I say that. I guess I could have played a Contaminator there. But, sure. All right. They let it through. Man, missing that land on three is so hard for us right now. Yeah, you got another tiny bone, so that becomes a 3-3. Three, three. This is the one way to play a lot of Honest Rutsteins, though, right? If you want to get a bunch of your stuff with uh, reduced cost, this is the way to do it. All right, so here's an interesting thing, right? We could attack. If oh no, they could also save a thing though with their card. That's that's not good for us. Never mind. I had a thought, but it was a bad thought. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. Get us a five five. Get some food. Not that that helps us a ton here, but we have it. No attacks. But what I was thinking is, if they can't 
keep their creatures alive, protect them. We can create a situation where we can... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to block with this guy. Yep, you got it. Okay, well now we have one of these for backup. I was going to say where we could actually punch through and do things here. This is whenever a legendary creature dies, it deals that much. So we would take four from this dude. That's annoying, but probably necessary. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Do we, I don't even know what we do here. I'm like, what is the opponent going to do with their last card? We kind of have to do this now, though, if we're going to do it. So, sure. Yep, we take four. That's fine. And then we just pass. I kind of want to attack, but we're only at 12. And I feel like shenanigans are afoot. <laughs> but whatever, let's do it. No guts, no glory. We will sack a food. Looks like we're just getting another bristlebud farmer. Actually, I kind of want to land, actually. Because then we get to draw a card, too. All right. I mean, we are going to reach a situation where blocking stuff is just not going to be effective. Or, because then we're just going to take damage from... Oh my gosh, there's another one? Sicko. Opponent, you're a sicko. You drew so well. Yep. Going to make our life very tough here. All right. Let's go ahead and draw. I mean, we can get rid of that, so it's not like we're in that big of a world of hurt, but it does matter. Um, okay, what are we looking to do here? Can we Hydra for just, like, one? Is that reasonable? <laughs> like, like, I don't even know. I'm like, can we just, like, Hydra for one and feel good about ourselves? Like, I guess... Like, I don't love it, but we also probably need the food because of this silly thing. And we are only at eight, so we have to be kind of careful here. All right, what are we looking to do? I mean, Farmer's holding the fort, so it's not like Farmer's been junky this game. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Before they have a way to, like, sacrifice something in response or whatever. I mean, for, our, for all we know, they might have another one in hand. <laughs> like, but... Eh. Honest Rudstein, sure. So now our attacks are kind of junky. I mean, like, we're just going to block with Gold Vein Hydra. That's our only real plan here. Alright, so that gets us at least one treasure. And we have a Mirix. So four, five, six, not quite seven. We could go to six. And then that would cause those to die. Alright, I, I think it's worth it. Alright, this is the problem when you play Mirror Box. They have to choose one to keep. We pass the turn. Hopefully we don't die here. I mean, we will be blocking a tiny bones on this turn if we get the opportunity. Otherwise, they get to play some of our big monsters from our graveyard if they picked up a removal spell here. And there's not anything we can do about it. Do I have anything good they want? Yeah, sure. I mean, they might want a Hydra. Or a pull of Kranos. I mean, those are relevant. They might also want Nissa dead. Who knows? Uh, what do you know? I'm blocking. I mean, we know they have another one, but that's fine. It's not just life totals here, but also protecting our graveyard when we know we can put like three creatures down next turn. All right, Bloomkin, that's a legit answer. So we have four, five, six mana. What if we plus one? And then we play this. 
and then probably play this and we can block with the 5-5 five five, I think and feel fairly okay about it all right this has become a little bit of a slog here opponents started out like a house on fire and we're, we're working our way up especially if they get another uh whoa at knife point as long as your turn outlaws you control have first strike well that's cute gotta love that as long as it's your turn, though. Okay. Well, that's an important piece of text. Um, I, I think we need to just get rid of that, sadly. That's a bit too scary for us. And then here we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, could I have gone seven? Oh, I didn't realize I had that much mana. All right, then. We're in. Cool, that works too. All right, cool. Oh man, that was a strong comeback. I yeah, we'll keep this. We might be doing the small Hydra thing, but you know, sometimes you just do what you got to do. All right, well we're just going small Hydra then, I think. <laughs> like, it's absolutely dumb, but it's like you don't want to block it to ramp me up, but it's just a nuisance there. Oh, that's going to be a 2 2 now. All right. Well, I think I have to kill. Oh, they're just going for it. Oof. Do I get to kill this? Uh, huh. I don't know what I want to do with this. That feels way more dangerous if we leave it. But whatever, we'll gamble. It's a bad idea, but you know, we've had worse ideas. Pretty sure I'm supposed to be killing the uh, eidetic memory, though. Yep, and that's one of the reasons why. <laughs> that's exactly one of the reasons why. Okay, well... Now we have a decision, though. Can we just outrace them getting a lot of cards? I think we can. So let's do this. We're going to put a plus one counter on here. I'm trying to think how I get the most value if the bloated contaminator dies. I think we... Oh, no, we can't do that, though. We have to put it on the contaminator. We can't kill anything. Well, never mind. We don't get a choice here. All right, bonus at seven. We get to juice some things. All right. We need to top tech something good because all we got is lands. I mean, Jim has seen all of our cards. <laughs> the, the lands are, are not quite enough to get us where we want to go right now. All right, another eidetic memory. So that's going to pump this up for at least one because it is legendary. All right, good news. Our uh, contaminator didn't die. So that's something. Right? Because that was a real concern. All right. Sure, because the contaminator is going to connect at least, so... No, Jim, that tramples. Oh, wait, but then that's nine. Yeah, that's that's probably the way. <laughs> that makes the most sense. All right. Okay, we need something good. Hell, another gold vein hider would be fine here. All right, we got there anyway, though. Big green. Okay, this we're going to... We're going to keep it. And I'm just going to hope we draw a two-mana thing. Otherwise, this is just going to be a terrible hand. 
Yep, it's going to be a terrible hand. All right, well, we'll attack. <laughs> We're not doing anything else here. Rona, you got it. This makes this really bad, actually. All right, here's how silly this kind of has to be, though. Like, I have to do this to pump this up this turn. Get in for two. And then I'm going to have to, like, do something silly where I have to, like, pump a thing to kill a Rona, you know. Not really what we want to do. But we could potentially kill two things here, right? Because we play a land, we pump a creature, fight one of them, and then we use Bushwhack, fight the other one. Oh, this is interesting, though. Uh, okay, we attack. That went surprisingly normal. Huh. Alright, I guess they're gonna reenact the crime or something? It's gotta be the only thing we're doing here, right? All right. Probably should have just done that on my turn when they were tapped, but yeah, here we are. Would have got another point in and all that. All right. Obviously, we're going to do some criming. Yep. All right. GG's. Like, there's nothing else to really do there. Like, well, these are cards. We'll keep it, I suppose. And we'll just have to see what happens. I say, obviously, we would have much rather been on the play, but this is fine. This is at least serviceable. Worst case scenario, we might be able to kill a four toughness thing. So that would be all right. Oh, that gets to kill our creature. I was wondering if somebody's going to play that card today, though. I've been eyeballing that a little bit myself. This is, though, where I kind of wanted to just play Goldvein Hydra and just say, like, if you kill it, I at least get a treasure, right? Because of that exact thing, right? Wouldn't have been particularly any closer to, like, a Nissa. Well, I guess we would have been closer to Nissa. But, all right, let's do this. All right, and this copies a thing? Oh, it makes a Golem. If you sacrifice another artifact, you make a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Makes sense. It's so funny, this dude, this little, like, pet, occasionally flips a coin into his hat, and I hear it in my earphones, and I'm just like, what effect are we flipping a coin for? <laughs> but it's nothing, it's just this guy, which is hilarious to me. Uh, Alright, this is, whenever you sacrifice something else, you can pay two, and then you make a copy. Sadly, I would like to kill that, but I kind of, yeah, I think we kind of have to. That's going to be too dangerous if we let it sit around. Are they going to sacrifice it or some such? Nope. All right. Just attack for two then. Oh, looks like Goldvein Hydra ain't going to make it, folks. Okay, that's fine. So, we have a chance to cast full-size Nissa next turn. Oh, no, we'll be short one. Four, five, no, we'll have seven. We'll have seven. So, we could use Nissa, like, get rid of a card. Because they have all enchantments here. Hey, Moonwatcher. Good evening to you, too. Three steps ahead. So, they're going to make a copy of something. No, they're just going to draw two here. All right. All right, and they discarded a Vaulted Surge. That's good to know. There's no blue mana up. Okay, I guess we just go full-size Nissa and start trying to pick some stuff off. I mean, if they get us, they get us. There's nothing else we can do here. All right, let's sacrifice another thing. Huh. So then Nissa would take a damage. I guess we gotta do it though, right? 
I mean, I say that. Hold on. Can we just make, like, eight eights and call it good? Because, like, whatever we target is just going to become a 3-3 three, three anyway. And then we're having to worry about the 3-3 three, three reducing Nessa's power and all, or loyalty and all that. So, let's just see if this is good enough. If we had, like, another creature, I would feel better about it. Because then we could throw something in the way temporarily and, you know, all that. But without it, it doesn't feel as cool. But if we could, and then we get to minus Nissa to kill a thing, and, you know, that, that doesn't feel so bad. But really, if we even connect with one, and then Nissa's big enough, then we just start trying to win that way. All right. Now we're going to get into the silliness. Whenever another artifact with mana value three or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you get to make a duder. Things are about to get ugly, and we did not draw well there. That is not good for us. All right, so they get to make a golem. They're getting rid of that. I think we go ahead and minus here. Get rid of this. And limit their choices, is what we're doing here. So now Nissa becomes the high priority thing, but they are at 18. Alright, Duplicator. Whenever you sacrifice something... Alright, we'll attack for 8 again. Or try to. Alright, they go to 10. Yeah, I think Nissa is just going to slowly try to eat their board, I guess. Because all we've done is draw lands here. So, like, after our opening, we drew one spell and just forest. And this is for real trying to hold the fort all by herself. Like, she is doing the work right now. Um, am I even trying to bushwhack? Uh, nothing to bushwhack, really. All right. Let's just get rid of this. I mean, if they attack Nissa down, we don't care that much. Goes to four. That's fine. Though, if they had another surge, that does become a problem. Okay, well, that's a thing. Discard, make a treasure. Draw a card. Alright, play a dude. Might as well play our land. And then now I think we can start working on Nissa going back the other direction. Yeah, I'm not blocking here. If they just have enough to kill Nissa, they just kill her. It's fine. Lightning Strike or, or uh, Lightning Helix or something. They did not have it, however. I think I am just going to plus here while I have a chance to. So they can't respond to me playing this. I'm gonna go ahead and play a bristlebud farmer. Get some triggers. And we're gonna attack for three. Uh oh. I was gonna say they're gonna look they look at three. Alright, fair enough. So, I mean, I guess their play is Sunfall. Yeah, you put one of those cards in your hand and the rest on the bottom. So, probably looking for a board sweeper. And then we're just going to try to rebuild with Nessa. I mean, the good news is we've drawn so many lands. we got to start hitting some things, right? That deals five to a tapped creature. Yeah, it's fine. We are not that concerned about that, all things considered. And this is gonna die here. This game became more epic than I thought it was going to. All right, they're gonna voltage surge Nissa out of here. That makes sense. I'm assuming. Yep, we're gonna turn that up. So we're gonna have to fight it. So it becomes a five-five. That's unfortunate, but you know we do what we gotta do. Alright. 
I mean, I say that. I guess it's just a 5-5. Five, five, whatever. I say just a 5-5. Five, five, like, it's nothing. But, uh, okay. Sharp-eyed rookie. Do we care about you? They have to tap a thing, though, for that to become a 5. And cruise for 1. So we're only going to get in for 4. Effectively. Right? Or they block the 4 and take 5. And we don't hate that either. So, sure. Let's go. Can't imagine why we'd do anything else here. Back of food. That's exactly what I wanted to see at this stage of the game. That's the boy we were looking for, y'all. That is the money card, as they say. Alright. I think we go ahead and play this just for fun. And we, uh, end the turn. And we get all the mana for the Hydra, and we can fight something, so, sure. Extruder does the business. Alright, well, let's see what you got in hand, I guess. We do this for seven? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there a counter they've been sitting on this whole time? Uh, let's have these fights. To try to make sure we get through for lethal. So there's only one blocker. Yep, that was the plan there. And then because we get trample, that's at least seven. Oh, man. Nissa held that down. Oh, all right. I'm going to keep it. I was really hoping to have a two-mana creature there. But maybe we'll top deck one. And then we'll play Contaminator. And then we'll draw fourth mana. And it'll be just like we drew it up. Not even close. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> we didn't get a land or a creature. Like, we, we got the worst of everything here. Yep. Virtue works. All right. At least the good news with Bristlebud Farmer, at least leaves you a little bit of value behind, so you don't feel bad about it. Get in, get out. All right, you got you a one-one. Ooh, ooh, I kind of, hmm, kind of want to go with the Gold Vein Hydra. Not gonna lie, especially here, because we get to turn it into a four-four. Yeah, I'm into this. Probably should be saving it for later, but. We're here now. Alright. Then if it dies, we have a Nyssa. You know, that's literally it. If it dies, we get Nyssa. Which is crazy to say that. Just like, that's a crazy ramp situation. But it's where we are. Okay. What are we looking to do here? We will try to bushwhack the 1-1? One, one? Hmm. Alright. Not the best use of this, but I don't hate it. Alright, then we're just attacking? I mean, I might as well, but I'm probably better off just attacking the opponent here. Oh, no, really? Oh, hell. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Well, we're setting up more treasure. Alright, there's a Malcolm. Okay. Malcolm connects, they get to draw a card. Let's try to fight Malcolm. All right. Well, that's 10 before we do anything else. Uh, so you got to play at least a blocker. That makes sense. We will attack here. Pumping our duders. 
Opponents at two, and I don't even know if we need to play anything else here. But that's a lot of mana. There could be a sweeper here. I'm just going to end the turn. Like, I feel like this is where you just go land, remove your dudes. Yep. We played that correctly. All right. Good call. And that's their whole turn. So we lose Gold Vein Hydra, obviously. Now we need to find an untapped land here, which all of our land should be untapped. So we could play Nissa would be great. Oh, no, we have all the extra treasure. What I'm talking about. We got bonus treasure. Uh, yeah, we just go ham here, right? Just say, like, here's all the duders. Deal with them. All the value on the green side. Yep, GG's. Woo! To have the Hydra die and be able to go max Nissa and a creature and then Nissa's still ability to, like, minus here is huge. Because now you almost put your opponent, especially with this hand, with two of these... Opponent's almost in a situation now where it's like, okay, got to have another sweeper. I'm like, all right, have a 9-9 nine, nine and a 4-4. Four, four. One of them even tramples before I minus Nissa. So you got to do it again, right? Like, that's that's a situation you want. We are going to keep this. I don't know where this is headed, but we're going to keep it. Oh, so many of those things have shown up today. That card's so good. So good. Can't even fault anybody for playing it. The card's just good. Especially if you need something that commits crime, like you're just playing creatures and just getting all the value. And this dies. So I get milled, right? No, not yet. They want to do it on their terms, apparently. Okay. Um, Man, I don't even want to use this on that, which is sad. But I'm going to go here. I thought about just playing the adaptive and then using tie bar stand, but nah. Yeah, that's fine. That works. What else we got going on here? Nothing just yet. Okay. Then I think we're going to go here. And here. Grows the team. Get some attacks in. Okay. Tiny Bones. Oh, we got your number, Tiny Bones. Oh, we really got your number, Tiny Bones. <laughs> All right. Uh, right. Let's... We ain't scared of no Tiny Bones. All right, everybody gets a counter. GG's, opponent says. All right. New cards. How did we feel about them? I think they're fine. I think they're good. I think they're actually playable. Gold Vein Hydra showed out a little bit. We did some actual real work with this card that led into Anissa doing big, crazy things. And we did actually win because of Bristlebud Farmer in a game that actually put the right cards in our hands. So, you know, maybe... Here's the thing, though. If I'm going to be real critical of the decks, I think we do need still Bushwhack. I do think we still need Archdruid's Charm. However, I think in the final list, you're going to need to clean some stuff up so you can actually play the Scrap Gorger. I think Scrap Gorger is going to be back to being a big card here. Actually, I don't know why that didn't come up when I just tried to search for it. All right, well, whatever. Scrap Gorger is a magic card, I promise. <laughs> oh, because it's under not collected. There we go. This thing. So, I think you need to be able to remove stuff from graveyards. I think there's just too many silly mechanics right now that care about the graveyard that we have to find room for this. And this is fine because it still works with Gold Vein Hydra, works with Nissa. So, we don't hate having it. But I think we have to cut like a Bristlebud Farmer. Probably going to have to cut like one... I don't even know. We'll have to find a spot somewhere. We'll have to cut some more. But definitely need to play at least three of these, if not four. I think that's going to be a big difference in 
at least the early part of standard going forward while people are playing all the different shenanigans trying to make like silly decks work. But as it stands, we've got two Bushwhack, four Evolving Adaptive, four Flourishing Bloomkin, four Sharp-Eyed Rookie, four Archdruid's Charm, four Bloated Contaminator, two Polar Kranos Reborn, three Bristle Blood Farmer, three Nessa Ascended Animus, four Gold Vein Hydra, two Tyvar Stan, and honestly, it might be Tyvar Stan that we have to cut. Uh, one Besaju, 21 Forest, one Merix, one Sandstorm Verge, and honestly, Mono Green's still playable. And there's even other cards we didn't even have in this list, so there's a bunch of ways to build this, I'm sure. But as always, if you're looking for more videos, we still have more stuff with Thunder Junction, so be sure to check those out, because it helps the channel. Don't forget, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. You all have been awesome. That's all I have for you for now, and we'll see you next time.